Hey everybody, Max Kevin here. It's the Complain About Movies and TV Shows podcast. It's like Siskel and Ebert, except I don't, you can't see my thumbs because they're up my ass. Yeah. Um, how's it, how's it going everybody? Did you, have you seen any new, new blockbusters? Any new family fun adventures? I hear that new, that John Cena movie's coming out. He plays a firefighter, but his kids, they're up to antics. Hilarity ensues, because the kids are ant- antical, and ant- antiquing. The kids go antiquing. Uh, anyway, I uh, watched, uh, watched a couple movies this weekend, you know, that I, uh, that I downloaded. Ill- I mean, that I, uh, I bought a ticket for and went to the movie theater for the movie. Yeah, what did I see? What did I see? Okay, first I saw Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Which is the ninth movie from Quentin Tarantino. And how do you know it's the ninth movie from Quentin Tarantino? Because it says so right on the poster. And also the every every single every single production shot has the ninth movie from Quentin Tarantino starring Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt, the two hottest guys in Hollywood. And it's about Hollywood. And it's the ninth movie from Quentin Tarantino. And it's about Hollywood. And it's got Once Upon a Time, so it makes you think that it's one of them westerns, or a mafia movie. You know, just like Once Upon a Time in the West, or Once Upon a Time in... What's that other one? I don't know. I can't remember. Uh, But, you know, all those Once Upon a Time in movies, they're all either spaghetti westerns or mafia movies. They were made by, you know, the Italian directors. And, uh, well, this uh, this movie, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, it's it's not a western. It's not about the mafia, either. It's, uh, it's not really about anything. I'm trying to, I'm still trying to figure out what was that movie about exactly? What was the plot exactly? Let's see, there was, uh, kind of no plot at all. Nothing really, nothing really happened. And then at the end of the movie, they, they kill, they kill Tex Watson, you know, like the, the Manson murder people. They, you know, they get killed at the end there after two and a half hours. Uh, but the movie itself doesn't really. I think there's no plot at all. Basically, it just kind of goes from one scene to the next. And, uh, you know, I guess it's a character study. You know, it's a character... There's no plot because it's just a character study, you know? Actually, the characters don't change at all in the movie either. They don't go through any trials or tribulations, really. There's really no plot, no character development. Just kind of a bunch of... Just kind of a bunch of... You know you know how movies have, like, uh, bonus scenes where, like... It's like, oh, this is a fun bonus scene where we can see the characters do fun things. That's kind of like every single scene in the movie was just a fun bonus scene that didn't advance the... There was no plot at all. I don't... I don't really understand what... I mean, it was like the scenes themselves were each entertaining, you know? They were... They were entertaining. The movie was entertaining, but it had no... Nothing happened. I can't. I can't tell you what the movie was about. It was about nothing, and then they kill the. They kill the Manson murderers, at the end there. That's, that's pretty much it. That's nothing happens. And then Leonardo DiCaprio puts on a flamethrower and uh, you know, burns this chick. Yeah, I still don't. I don't understand who. I mean, I know Quentin Tarantino's like. He's like the fucking dude or whatever, but someone's got to tell him. It's like, hey man, you gotta, you gotta put a plot in your movies. You know, you gotta, the characters have to develop or something. You know, you can't just have these little. You can't just have a two and a half hour movie of bonus scenes. <laughs> eh. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't get. It. I heard, uh, I heard something on the internet like his his main editor uh, died or something, and so since then his movies have been like a half hour too long. I kind of felt like that too. Like a lot of the scenes, they didn't. It's like, well, that was, that scene was pointless. Why did you? You could you should have easily. You should have cut that scene in half, maybe. I don't know. This movie's kind of. Anyway, check it out. Once upon a time in Hollywood. It stars it stars Brad Pitt with his shirt off. Oh my God, he's so hot right now. Let's see what else did I see. Then I saw Rambo: Last Blood, which is uh, holy fuck, man. <laughs> That's got to be the worst fucking movie I've ever seen. I don't... 
I don't even know why they called it Rambo. Like, Rambo's like an action movie. This had no... It had a lot of gore, but no action scenes at all. There was, like, one action scene at the end of the movie for, like, ten minutes. And then it had, like, it had like Rambo ripping bones out of people. Like, there was a lot of, like, excessive gore and, like, close-up of, like, the the flesh. And it's like, oh, that's gonna... I mean, I want to act, I want, you know, action movie, not not just ripping bones out of guys. It's not very nice, you know. And the whole the whole movie doesn't make any sense. He's like looking for his his daughter because she got kidnapped by the drug cartels. The they're uh, you know uh, people people snatching. What do they call it? Human trafficking. His daughter got kidnapped by the human traffickers. And so instead of going full on Rambo and like you know getting his bow and arrow and shit and killing all the traffickers he just walks into their building he's like oh hey guys here i am you can beat me up now and so they beat him up and then you know and then he gets pissed off because his daughter dies from drug overdosing because they shoot her up with heroin because she's a whore and uh you know then he goes he goes back to his farm and like sets it up there's like a montage of him like setting up traps and stuff and then like he kills the the cartels in like seriously less than two minutes and then the movie's over <laughs> it's like well rambo why didn't you why did you let them kill your daughter first you know why did you just walk into their base you should have got you should have brought some guns and your bow and arrow there and start doing your rambo shit you know that would have made more sense but oh my god that, oh, that movie's so bad it's just like nothing nothing happens for 80 minutes and then he kills everyone in like two minutes and then the movie's over like they call it last blood and you think he's gonna like die but he doesn't die he just he just sits on his porch and he's like yep that's what ha that's the world we live in bad things happen but i'm fucking rambo so i kill the bad people i can't bring my buddies back from vietnam and that's that's basically and then they just i mean who who told Stallone that was a good idea? Someone should have someone should have read that script and been like, "Oh, this is the dialogue here is fucking god awful," and uh, and uh, there's really no action in this movie till the very end. There's a you sure there's a way to call this Rambo? You don't want to just call this uh, you know uh, a, a angry grandpa or something like that? I don't you know. It's nothing to do with Rambo, basically. It's not even an action movie, really. It's just kind of a... It's just kind of a bad, really slow drama with excessive gore. Maybe you should, uh... Maybe you should change the title! Uh, anyway. Uh, don't... Don't watch that one. Don't watch that one. Okay, and then I also saw... What else did I see this weekend? I saw The Mandalorian. That would continue to be good. Jon Favreau, you're the man. Continue doing what you're doing. And uh, let's see, what else do we see? Oh, that's our Watchmen, which uh, I think I've given up on pretty much here. Um, I was really, ex I was really excited about Watchmen. I was really looking forward to it, and then I just kept, I just kept watching it. And every episode just is worse than the one before it, and the, the writing is worse and worse. And like this episode, they had the the character there. She took. Uh, well, she wants to figure out her, her, her family secrets, right? She's trying to investigate her grandfather, who holds a deep, dark secret, right? So instead of, like, you know, I don't know, f finding some ancient family artifacts or, like, talking to him or, you know, having flashbacks or whatever, they, uh, they have these pills, they have these memory pills that if you eat them, you get to relive other people's memories, which, uh... Not only did not exist in the Watchmen comic, but uh, it's just terrible fucking writing. Holy shit! You know they're all sitting around the writers' table, like, okay, how are we gonna, how are we gonna have our daughter, our granddaughter character learn about the past of her grandfather? Should she do it in some organic way, or like where she sees a video, or where the grandfather tells her, or how should we do it? And some guy raises his hand, he's like, oh, I got an idea. What? We'll get these pills. And how to, what they do is they had they, the pills have the memory, to have people's mem. And if you take the pill, you live, you relive the memory. And uh, you know, instead of everyone at that writers' table saying, uh, "Well, that's 
That's fucking retarded. You should shut up. You should quit. How did you even get in this room? How do you how are you a writer on a TV show? And not just fucking you know, drinking your own diarrhea. How is that How is it possible that you've even said that? You know, instead of saying that, they say, uh, oh that's a good idea. We let's write it. That's a good idea. That should be a great idea for a multi million dollar HBO TV show that somehow has fucking ninety seven percent on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> yeah, The Mandalorian has 90%, and uh, Watchmen has 97%. And my God, man. My God. Watchmen is so goddamn awful, but it gets 97% because, uh, you know, it's fucking strong black woman. It's, str- it's a strong woman. Fine racism, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, that was weird. You know, when I first watched that first episode, I was, I was like, oh, this is kind of weird. It's about racism. Uh, whatever. I mean, it's not really... That's not what Watchmen's about. Well, whatever. I'll give it a chance, dude. I'll give it a chance. And now it's like episode six, and they're taking uh, memory pills. They're taking... And it's like, oh, well, that that doesn't even make any sense in the context of the show. Because they explain in the show, you know, they're like, oh, do you know how they make those memory pills? What we do is they put this chip in your brain that reads your mind, and then they use that chip to make the pills. And it's like, okay, well, oh, oh, you're, oh, so we have mind-reading technology? Oh, okay, so... You're telling me in this world with mind-reading technology, the the police don't use that to find the... Oh, oh, they never use it. Oh, they have mind-reading technology, but they never use it. Oh, okay. Oh, I get it now. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, because it would have been a lot easier to, you know, find the criminals if they just used that mind-reading technology on one of the guys that they arrested, you know? They wouldn't have had to, like question anybody ever ever all you got to do is put that chip in their brain to read their mind but uh but uh but uh oh yeah okay oh yeah oh oh yeah the technology exists but oh the police can't use it because it's against the law only the only the drug makers can use it that are making the pills with the memories i'd like some of those pills you know i think i get a pill of like just like uh preschool hanging out with all my friends playing nintendo you know Every day, my buddy Adam, he'd come over. He was rich, so like he'd bring a new get, new Nintendo game over every day. And I'd wake up, and I'd just be like, fuck yeah, new Nintendo game. What do you got, Adam, you know? Jesus Christ, those fucking Nintendo games back in the day were 50 bucks. You know what's crazy? It's like, video games have always been 50 bucks. 30 years ago, they were 50 bucks. It's like, it's like fucking, I remember like my mom getting me one for those for Christmas. Like, goddamn, 50 bucks for a video game? That's like paying like 200 bucks. For something for just the game, you know, and like the games, half of them sucked. They just con people out of two hundred bucks, like this fucking game that sucks, you know, like fucking ET or whatever, or Alf, Alf the video game. Anyway, anyway, I'm just gonna uh, spend the rest of my day sitting in my uh, sit in my room, uh, uh, complaining, you know, crying because I don't write for television. And, uh, these dumb, some, some fucking retarded person does. I, I gotta think about that. How can I be so goddamn stupid and retarded that I can get a job writing for television? What do I have to do? Maybe I'll just eat a bunch of blue cheese and beans and then diarrhea dump on a steno pad and, like, whatever pattern that makes. That'll be the story for my next hit TV show. I used a lot of potty humor in today's podcast. I'm sorry about that. I hope no one was eating their din din. This isn't the din din podcast. Oh, this is getting pretty long though, huh? Congratulations to you if you made it this far. Hopefully you're listening on uh, 2.7 2. speed, you know? Or 3.0 3. speed. I don't even know if the phone goes up that fast, but I definitely recommend listening at least 1.5 speed if, you know, if you're not a complete podcast amateur. Anyway, thanks for listening. Maybe we'll see you tomorrow.